Hi. So we are going to be uh, speaking with uh, Carolyn Arn Laidling, and she is an artist that's part of the virtual Riverdale Art Walk. Uh, Carolyn has been very busy um, making masks for this past year and working with the Artist Network on our board. And so we're just waiting to see if she can join me and then we can chat a little bit about, our, about her work and what she's doing. So if we're online again, that would be great. And Carolyn can chat a little bit about her abstraction, her processes. And there she is. Hi there. Hello. How are you? Hello. I think we did it's it. actually going to work this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been one of those days. Okay. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Monday. Well, how are you? I'm good. I'm doing well, Carolyn. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good. Yes. I wanted good. to um, put some art up in the backyard and I was kind of, you know, walking that thin line as we artists often do. <laughs> especially yeah. at tent tours and is it going to rain is it not going to rain yeah so yeah. i haven't uh dealt with the weather in a while right so right. the weather with outdoor art fairs is always a big thing so we'll see how the it weather is. it is but we'll hope for the best and right for the worst right yeah. so you're joining us with the art alchemy setup of this one of the small tent tours here right. in Side, right yes that's yeah. right there will be i guess eight of us Right. And uh, very diverse. And um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Um, it's in the Leaside neighborhood. So really easy to get to and close and lots of parking along the street. And wow, I mean, live art. What else can you say? What else can you say? Yeah. So talk a little bit about the paintings that you've been doing that will sure. be for our Very life. different. So for a lot of um, COVID, um, I think you mentioned I didn't um, I didn't make any art. Um, I really got um, pulled into uh, mask making, and it was sort of out of need. I donated about twenty five percent of what I make. I still am uh, making them, but I'm trying to push away. We're still going to need them, so um, you know it is what it is. But I started back to art not long ago. I think that. I was feeling very optimistic um, and I think it's really reflected in the art. Um, I was interested in what Sherry said earlier about, you know, not having um, figurative art because we haven't seen people. And, um, you know, I think that I'm inspired by my garden and I'm inspired by being outside and just sort of taking chances and really not caring all that much. Just, right. you know, like, I want to do something that I enjoy doing. I want to have fun doing it. I want it to be beautiful. I want other people to love it, but I want, you know, I really want to enjoy that process. And yes. so what I found is I've been taking a lot longer and I've been painting over things and I've been, you know, doing very intricate parts of it. And, you know, I find the whole thing very uh, meditative and, and really, really enjoying it, loving it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I do have a lot of different work that I'll be showing and I did uh, put some up and so I can take a little spin. Um, I work out of my backyard studio and um, it's uh, right behind me and it's little. It's about the size of a tent, 10 by 10, but um, it's my little getaway and I feel so lucky to have it. Yeah, that uh, your workspace is just beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's a little hideaway, you know, Friday night, I'll go out and turn music on and have a glass of wine and make yeah. art and life couldn't be better. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. So I'm gonna switch it around and just kind of take a spin on some of the stuff that I've been doing. So um, this is a piece that um, is fairly new. Um, it's well, everything's new, actually. Um, it's uh, 24 by 48. Um, but I want to do is really zoom in on some of the detail um, of the piece. So, you know, there's this little pathway that kind of goes meandering through. And, you know, it's just another way of saying it. And I think that of, of going through, but I thought it was a really beautiful kind of uh, contrast um, uh, to the big, crazy, wild shapes and colors and um, it's really, it's a really cool thing. So I've got a lot of layers in this one 
and um, and then a lot of very very fine detail. Yeah, it's lovely. So th yeah, this one's a little bit the same. Um, it's uh, got the same level of detail, and you can see some really crazy mark making uh, amongst the layers. Whoops. Uh, whoops. Lost you. Yeah, it's okay. There we go. Yeah, um, but um, uh, but some fineness as well. And, and it's. And these are acrylics on canvas? Yeah, and really mixed media. So I do, um, what I have been doing is putting a lot of um, collage under the layers and things that have to do with COVID and vaccines and, you know, emerging out of this thing and, and just sort of making that a piece of the art. And it may or may not have something that's visual at the end. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a piece here that um, we're using in the promotion of the... Um, of the uh, tent tour and it's 24 by 24. Um, I called it um, second shot because I had my second shot and it really, you know, there's so many crazy wild things going on. It was just like a burst of happiness um, and, uh, and tons and tons of it. A couple more pieces over here. This is uh, one I've been working on actually, believe it or not, for about a year pulling in, pulling out. Um, I'm not sure that it's done, but it has such a beautiful contrast beside that you want to miss uh, in the colors and that sort of thing. Um, and then I've got um, little pieces that I'll have at the show, um, uh, uh, circular ones. But really what I'm trying to do here is just have a lot of fun, you know, and uh, that's what these are intended for. Um, a lot of them have uh, spray paint in them. Um, I use uh, spray paint quite a lot. And um, one of the telltale things of somebody who's a spray paint <laughs> addict is this, is this kind of thing. And so that's when you're uh, finishing off the cans and you've got to turn them upside down. So I think it's actually kind of beautiful in my backyard. So, yeah. yeah. There's so anyway. a uh, fluidity and um, openness and airiness and hope to those people. There, there really is. I think um, t for the most part, a lot more positivity than a lot of some of the other work that I was doing prior to that. <laughs> um, and it's just, you know, this is the direction that I, I really want to go because I think that it is, things are very positive. You know, they're opening up. We're, we're, it's exciting. It's really, really exciting. And um, we've lived through a really, really difficult period. And, um, and it's going to be good. It's yeah. going to be really great. And um, we've all become stronger. We've taken a little bit different perspective on things. And, um, you know, soon we'll all be vaccinated. And we'll, uh, we'll get back to the back to normal. But we'll be better than before. Yeah, also having learned a lot about yes. things. I mean, Marjolyn, you have been helping artists with um, social media and that sort of thing. And, you know, people are going to be so strong after this when we yes. integrate uh, normal tent, tent tours and shows um, with, um, with all of the things we've learned. So, yeah, yes. so really enjoying my new work. I can't wait to show it. Um, I've had really great reactions, um, from people, including my mother and <laughs> so, yeah, that's awesome. Well, thanks so much for the tour. That's great. I look forward to seeing you this weekend and schlepping stuff and hanging it up and, and, uh, chatting for a little bit and seeing people in real life. So that'll, that'll be great. And also to see your work on virtual, uh, Riverdale art walk and, yeah. uh, with the pieces and that opens this weekend and runs through till July 2nd. So thanks very much, Carolyn, for, for the view and the chat and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks, Marjolyn. See you soon. Okay. Take bye care. Bye-bye.